Welcome back everyone to Walk and Talk on Onco Daily. I am Tate Vikmarkarian, your host for today, and this is Bebe Saglio, our guest for today. Dr. Saglio, can you introduce yourself for uh, our... Yes, um, I am uh, 74 years old, almost in a few days. <laughs> I am Emeritus Professor of Hematology and Dental Medicine at the University of Turin. And uh, I would say I retired from uh, clinical responsibilities uh, uh, just uh, two, two, three years ago, but uh, I am still active in research and I'm still active in, uh, I was organizing meetings and other uh, uh, academic activities uh, that I'm still performing uh, around the world. In one say. word, you're very active. Yeah, I am quite <laughs> well active. I'm working, uh, I would say, doing what uh, is uh, really pleasant for me, but uh, I would say this. Uh, uh, keeps me busy uh, for, for <laughs> most of my days. Uh, so. Understood, understood. Yeah, so. Dr. Saglio, we're going to take a little bit of a walk. Yes. And then I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Please. Okay, let's go ahead. And so, for the first question, can you share a pivotal moment in your life that significantly influenced who you are today? Oh, this is a, a quite a difficult answer. I would say that I studied medicine, not because I was really passionate about medicine at the beginning, but mainly because of my friends, and I've always been a social person, <laughs> were uh, just, uh, uh, just decided uh, to uh, go to the faculty of medicine. And so I started medicine. The first years were quite, uh, uh, I would say, boring because you have to study anatomy, biochemistry, and so on. But Basics, then the first yes. time that I entered at the hospital and I was uh, taking care of, and I, I would say it was my first experience of a direct contact with the, the people, the, the patients, and so on. This uh, uh, made me decide that just to become a good clinical doctor. And so this was probably the starting point of my career. Mm. Then I was always uh, um, being curious about many aspects of life, and therefore I decided also to do research. And uh, uh, I was uh, performing clinical activity um, during the day, but starting at uh, 3, 4 p.m. I was working in the lab. And uh, my first interest was from hemoglobinopathies at the time uh, would say a problem for Italy, not mm -hmm. anymore because of transplantation and so on. But uh, uh, at that time it was, was a problem, so I started to work on thalassemia and so on. And uh, at the time I met one person that for me is particularly important, uh, whose name is uh, Mazza. He's uh, not famous as a researcher, but he was a very human person with a lot of... Uh, and, it tolerated my quite, um, I would say, I do not know how to say, my character, which uh -huh. is not always easy, <laughs> and uh, is uh, probably his main merit, but uh, certainly the example of his uh, attitude to take care of the patients and so on, this was very important uh, for my decision in my life. Oh, that's, that's quite the history that you got there. Especially about your character. Yes, uh, <laughs> character was. I I have a quite a strong character, I would say. And so I mean, you are Italian. <laughs> <laughs> it says everything, and doesn't not it? Not always, but uh, it was really good with me because it was able to tolerate uh, my intolerance sometimes, <laughs> and so uh, this was good for me, very good. Hey, thank you for that. Second question is. Can you describe a goal or a dream that you had since childhood? And have you made any progress towards achieving it? Certainly, I've always been attracted uh, by traveling and knowing other countries and knowing other people, our populations and so on. And uh, uh, because when I was, uh, I would say, a child, uh, I was not eating so much. Mm. And my mother was putting in front of me an atlas, with, and looking at the atlas, indeed, <laughs> I was eating, and that's why I started to dream about the places, and of course, at that time, there were not all the facilities that we have in our days, yes. all the, the movies and so on, mm -hmm. so we had the 
pictures, a small postcard with uh, all these places. And uh, uh, so I was dreaming of visiting this place. And I succeeded in visiting most part of the world, I would say, in different countries. And sometimes I'm saying, okay, uh, God, please stop it, because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to travel so much anymore. But it's not true, because there are always uh, uh, new places to visit, uh, new persons to meet, and so on. Mm -hmm. and so, this is, uh, my dream is just uh, to have contacts with uh, people and culture, different cultures, and so on. And, this, and to follow on that, we have actually a question that quite similar to what you're saying, is that, do you have a dream destination? A dream destination? Yes. But uh, I would say that... Um, not particularly, I would say. I found uh, interesting every place in the world, even places which apparently are not uh, so at immediately attractive. But always there is always something to discover, always something just uh, to uh, to know mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, to make uh, um, to make you think about how um, I would say uh, adaptable is uh, the human uh, kind uh, is, to different situations yes. and so on. So, going from Alaska to the desert and so oh, on, it's, yes. uh, it's, it's uh, really uh, totally different, but the people living, and there is, a, I would say, what is very difficult to, to understand, which is the linkage with these different mm -hmm. uh, populations and so on. And there is a something which is common to all the humankind that we need, of course, to uh, to to treat well, I would say, to develop it, to implement it for the future. And I'm suffering a little bit to seeing that there are um, wars or incomprehension. So I'm saying, why we don't make a football match <laughs> and decide about <laughs> some... Peacefully, some, right? Uh, peacefully, yes. or maybe not so peacefully in, I mean, football in, is not in wars, but is not it? so violent as <laughs> or killing people yes. like uh, a war can cause. Okay, uh, I do uh, understand where you're coming from and I join you in your words. Let's yeah. hope that the future is more peaceful. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we were hoping this in the 70s and 80s uh, well, yes. in March, and we were saying, please make uh, uh, love, not war. war. You know, yes. there was yes, a famous yes, yes. The symbol. The peace sign uh, and yes. everything. Uh, the peace sign and everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the, the, the period uh, of the last. Uh, 10, 15 years have not been so. Hopefully the future is brighter. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead then. So let's come a bit too personal. Who has been the most influential person in your life and why? Okay, I think uh, certainly uh, a very influential person has been uh, my father was a really peaceful character mm. and uh, he lived a very long life. He died when he was 99 years old and uh, he was always uh, uh, one of the things that he was saying that uh, why you are so upset now, okay, uh, keep it calm and uh, what do you want to obtain by being upset? So you have to to stay and uh, to try to find a solution to what you are facing at the moment, but without uh, any uh, being so uh, so angry mm -hmm. or uh, about uh, some persons and so on. So he was really a philosopher, uh, I would say. So he had a very yeah. and uh, as my mother died when he, uh, he, I had to take care of him. My mother was younger than my mm -hmm. father, but uh, she died well before. So uh, I, had to, I was the only son, I had to take care of him. So he transmitted to me this type of philosophy. I would say that he was really a kind person, who was, um, I would say, uh, I, was, I, I, I must say that in a certain sense, I was a spoiled son, in the sense that he was doing for me many, many things and so on, but he was absolutely severe concerning the attitude towards the other people and so on. So this was were both my parents, my mother and my father. And uh, I was knowing, of course, very well them. 
And uh, when my father was saying, listen to me one moment, I have to ask you something, I always understood immediately, understood, I was immediately understanding that she was asking something for the friends, uh -huh. the family, uh -huh. and so on, and <laughs> that I had to go. And uh, so It was time was, to leave. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, no time to leave now, because then uh, they, they could ask me, of course, what they need. But this attitude toward, uh, I would say, uh, the uh, social uh, life, uh, this attitude mm -hmm. towards the other, the respect for the other persons and their problems, certainly is something that in my education, for my education, was very important. Understood. I mean, uh, social life is quite important. I think it's coming from social cultural perspectives as well, because Italians, also Armenians, Spanish people, right? We are very social. Yes, absolutely. In our character, so it's a really big part of our everyday life, and, and also, culture, as you yes. said, philosophy. Yes, philosophy. Yes, yes, this is true. And uh, but I think that everybody in the world sometimes is only question of, uh, uh, I would say, manifestation yes. of what you are uh, feeling. But uh, there are some shy people and other people. But everyone is generally, I would mm -hmm. say, there are exceptions everywhere. Very, very social. And, uh, yes, I think that, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, in it, a different way, maybe, yes. but uh, there are very, every sociality is, uh, I would say, the essential of the human uh, kind. Well, yes, we are very social in, in an instinctual level as well, humans. Yes, absolutely. We mm. strive in yes, community. Yes. Community, <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you for that. So uh, we talked a little bit about passions and life philosophy. So here goes another question about that. What are you really passionate about outside of work, of course? I like very much uh, to, to see movies. Movies? But, yeah. I like very much, uh, not movies, uh, commercial movies, but I like uh, to see movies which are uh, transmitting or... Um, I would say providing some messages about life and so on, and movies from also not only the classical Italian or European movies, but uh -huh. also movies from uh, every part of the world, from Korea, from Iran, from India, and so on. There, there can be movies which are telling about uh, life and so mm -hmm. on. At, at the end, uh, what you are seeing is that there is a common background in uh, all the persons, independently from the, the which is, uh, I would say, something which is essential for the, uh, for, for our life mm -hmm. and so on. And that this is, uh, the, I would say, the feeling is the same uh, along, I would say, among all the population, all the people. And uh, on, on the other side, I would say, it was the same even to a thousand years before. For example, if you uh, go to the in Turin. We have a beautiful Egyptian museum, the most one of the most famous Egyptian museum in the world. And you, if you look at the, what, uh, if you can say that there are no differences between the feelings of the Egyptians and our feeling in our days. <laughs> so we are exactly the same. Of course, uh, all the environment is totally different, and so on. But also we. Um, Sometimes we hope for a, a continuous life. Uh, of course, say, uh, yes. Uh, we would like to believe that. To believe that. And uh, of course, uh, we like just to realize something in our life and to take care of the children. There are uh, books for children, also Jishu Museum, as well as toys for children and so on. So all these things are making us a connection, strong connection between the past and the present. And is shared by all the the humanity. Well, we cannot plan our future without knowing the past. Absolutely. Right? So we this are is connected. very, very important. And I uh, really regret the fact that sometimes uh, I would say the level of our um, historical, but uh, it's not only history, I would say the cultural life, development of culture mm -hmm. uh, around the world is not uh, uh, so, so well established. Uh, in our in the school in our days, uh, with respect to what we had in the past, we we'll say our education was, uh, I would say, a little bit more uh, exclusive, if mm -hmm. you want, not but a little bit more 
uh, deep in, uh, I would say, in just a looking at different aspects of the culture. So now there is a spread, but most of the uh, of the people do not know about history, do not know, so they cannot appreciate. Unfortunately, uh, yes. yes, absolutely, I do agree going. with that. But uh, I think that by understanding this, by understanding that the past, our history, plays such a huge role in our present and future, we will understand that we have to go back so we can go forward. Yes, absolutely. So let's hope it works yes, out yeah, in the future. Sometimes. Another question is, uh, do you have, what does success mean to you personally? How do you measure it as someone who has already, you said that you've retired from clinical work and you've traveled the world and you've done so, so much and you're doing, still doing so, so much. So we can say that you are quite successful in life so, <laughs> and work. Yeah, yeah. So what does it mean to you? I do not know exactly. This is a difficult question to answer. What does is it mean, it? success? Yes, it is. I would say that I would like to um, to be free. It's There is an attitude that I wanted to establish. Uh, this is in my nature, I mm -hmm. would say, that uh, it's just to make people to talk, in be, you know, to, to be a sort of a messenger between uh -huh. different persons mm -hmm. and so on. This is, uh, if I... Um, was I, if I had to to say which was an animal that, in my opinion, uh -huh. I, I resemble, I'm like uh, I would say, a shepherd uh, <laughs> dog, because the shepherd dog, he likes uh, just uh, to see all the the, the, the sheep together, together, you know, and not sp spread. Uh, I had a shepherd dog who was going up and down. He was disturbed by the fact that someone was a little left bit behind, behind yes. and the other <laughs> one left behind. So this is, uh, and when I succeed in doing this, I feel quite happy if I can find a solution and to establish a relationship between people that apparently are enemies and so on. I feel satisfied and this is for me a personal success. That's a really nice way of putting it, actually. Never really thought about it, about the shepherd dog and everything. No, but uh, yes, I was because observing this dog that I had, fortunately, it, it, it died already some years ago, but it was coming and it was really upset was by the fact lesson. that we were not walking all together. <laughs> I was saying said that I'm a little bit sitting It was its though. life mission. <laughs> yes, it yes, was yes. doing to do it, right? But this was a, something that my professor, when I was a young student and it's in uh, secondary schools and the museum and so on, uh, professor, and the, there was the period of the protest of the people. Uh, I, uh, I would say professor was, a, I would say, a priest at the time because it was a religious school, oh. uh, was saying to me, Please think carefully of what you are want to do in this situation. If mm -hmm. you to make a strike or to, to to go to school and so on, because your decision will influence a great number of the other people. Mm -hmm. So if you have a great responsibility in this. Please take your time. And think <laughs> carefully. I don't say do it or not do it, but think carefully because your decision is influential. This brings us to the original idea that we started with that everything is connected everyone is connected Absolutely. to each other that's, that's a wonderful way to view it actually that was something fresh for me <laughs> yeah, yeah. so i think the final question for today is do you have a personal philosophy something or an idea that you live by well, this is another very difficult yes. question. <laughs> another very difficult As question. you're a philosophical no, I person, think, I think you will find an answer there. Yes, no, no. I think that my personal philosophy is that uh, I like just uh, uh, to, to understand. So I'm not really, um, I would say, severe to mm -hmm. the other persons because sometimes I'm saying, if I... I I am in this situation, which would be my behavior, some, uh -huh. something which is, can call us all. Com and compassion for the human uh, life that sometimes is not so happy for a certain person. So well, yes. I do not like to judge the people sometimes for what they are doing and so on, because I'm not in the same situation. 
I'm not the same person and so on. So I feel a little bit uh, disappointed that there are people who are saying, oh, this guy is um, not uh, doing well and so on. Maybe he's not doing well, we can, but we have to try to understand what the reasons why is. You not never know what they're well. going through, right? What they're going through. So it's sort of, with the Latin word, we can say sort of compassion, mm -hmm. of uh, compassion, or also misericordia, which means uh, knowing how difficult is the, the human life uh, and the difficulties of each person. Probably we, we must uh, try to, uh, to understand and uh, to be uh, patient and also, I would say, uh, to make, uh, uh, to understand exactly the other persons which are in front mm -hmm. of us and try to communicate with them. This is not the philosophy. I'm but saying. it is. Isn't, no, it, it is. is. Of yeah. course. Em empathy. Oh. It's all about empathy, right? Empathy, yes. This is why I think that uh, is, uh, <clears throat> we say, I am attracted. <clears throat> I'm not a re I, I am religious, in my <laughs> opinion. I'm not, uh, I would say, believing so many things about uh, religion. But uh, uh, my education is just in this direction, just uh, to be uh, compliant mm -hmm. with uh, the humankind and so on, and to, maybe if I can to provide support and so on. It is a wonderful philosophy, I think, and by talking with you a couple of minutes and having a walk with you, I think I, what I understood is that we have a lot to learn from you. No, uh, people I know, I know. From, no. With, with similar life lessons and experiences and philosophies. But you're asking a very difficult question, <laughs> maybe you have to observe it in real <laughs> life. Maybe it's a theory is one thing. <laughs> then real life and uh, behavior in real life may be different sometimes. You know? Maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> but I thank you so much for this interview and all of your very deep answers. And I wish you all the best. And thank you so much for your experience, the work that you're doing for the world and for today. Thanks to you too. This I'm was, very happy for this interview. Thank you. Thanks. This was all for today. You made me think about many things. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Oh, yeah. I do hope so. <laughs> this was it for today, everyone. This was Walk and Talk on Unco Daily. I am Tatia Markarian and this is Dr. Salio. See you soon.